Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from TechStore and in this video, I'm going to be showing the latest Dell G15 5530 series of laptops. This is a successor of the 5520. So if you have not already purchased this laptop and you want to check out how this laptop is, this is the video for you. Or if you've already purchased and you want to upgrade the RAM, SSD, replace the battery, say two, three years from the time you've purchased, this is the video for you. So let's get started. So Dell G15 5530 comes with uh, Intel uh, 13 generation as well as Ryzen uh, 5 7000 series variant. The Intel 13 generation variants are the i5 13450HX, the i7 13650HX and the 3900 Core i9 HX processor. It comes with multiple graphic card variants also. It comes with uh, 6GB RTX 3050. It comes with uh, RTX 4050 6GB graphic card as well as RTX 4060 8GB graphic card. All the variants come with 16 GB DDR5 RAM minimum up to 32 GB variant. They all come with uh, 512 GB or 1 terabyte NVMe Gen 4 SSD. We will dig deep into the entire laptop, uh, watch the video till the end. So let me show you the exterior of this particular laptop. On the top, uh, it is entirely polycarbonate. Uh, it is a combination of black and gray and the entire laptop is gray. Only the rear part is uh, jet black. And the same Dell G15 5511-5520 series uh, design has continued on the 5520. Although it had a lot of texture in the previous 5520, there's absolutely no texture on the top here. It is absolutely smooth finish. The same triangular design is over here. The Dell logo is placed over here. The very squarish box that you see on the top here. As you open, uh, you see a three-sided nano bezel. Uh, you see a 15.6 inches full HD screen. This comes with uh, 290 nits and uh, 120 hertz panel. We'll show you how the webcam quality is. So this is a video shot from the web camera of the Dell G15 5530. Uh, the webcam quality is good. Even the audio quality is uh, pretty good. As you can see, it's only about 720p camera. The camera seems to be a very good uh, one for Dell G15. The screen is uh, very upright as uh, with the most Dell G15 series and looks pretty uh, big if you immediately open it up. So there are these vents over here in the palm rest touchpad area. These are not speakers, these are air inlet. You get a full size uh, four zone RGB backlit keyboard. The touchpad again, there is no improvement whatsoever. Uh, the touchpad is very small. The key travel is uh, very less. Uh, it is not raised. So the kind of gaming that you would want, you need to buy a separate keyboard to play games with this particular laptop. And even the trackpad area is very small. So you might find it a little difficult. The power button is again placed uh, at the top rightmost corner inside the keyboard itself. You have the core i7 and the RTX uh, Nvidia stickering over here and uh, the inner are also absolutely uh, gray in color and uh, having a smooth finish. Coming to the left side, uh, there is a air exhaust vent area over here. Then there is a Ethernet uh, port. Uh, it's a gigabit Ethernet port. You have a headphone mic combi jack and a battery indicator over here. You can see the left side speaker grill over here also. So pretty thick laptop. On the front, there are absolutely no IOs whatsoever. On the right, uh, you have the right side speaker vent visible from here. You have uh, two USB Gen 3.2 ports over here. You have air exhaust dissipation vent area. You have the Dell G design. The rear, uh, the design has been changed a little. Uh, they have given this orange uh, kind of chrome kind of plating to the heat sinks inside. Looks uh, pretty exciting. You have a C-type port, Gen 3.2 with uh, Thunderbolt rating. You can directly connect uh, to an external monitor. You have a HDMI 2.1. You have another uh, USB-A type uh, generation 3.2 over here and you have the charging pin connector over here. No other IOs apart from this. So the rear is uh, pretty clutter free and very uh, similar looking with the previous G15 series and good amount of uh, exhaust vent has been given over here. The rudders are uh, neatly placed over here. Uh, the top rudder is uh, pretty big and the base rudder are as usual small in size. So it gives a small sort of an elevation to the laptop. It comes with a 240 watt adapter uh, but is pretty huge and uh, very very bulky to carry around. Uh, I mean, no doubt you require power, but this huge an adapter, it's got this uh, big pin that is continued. Let's see if the laptop opens with uh, one hand operation. Yeah, absolutely. It opens absolutely fine. The weight distribution is very good. So you need not worry about the hinges coming off. 
let's see if uh, there is top flex on this particular laptop near minimal uh, top flex uh, the polycarbonate quality is very good despite it is being plastic it seems a very very high quality plastic has been used let's see if there is a keyboard flex the keyboard flex is also very minimal let's see the speaker quality on this particular laptop The speaker quality is very good, uh, although it has got two watt speaker and no rating whatsoever, but the speaker quality turns out to be really loud and good bass delivery. So good uh, job on the speaker here. We will dig deep into this particular entire section uh, and show you how to upgrade the RAM and what are the internals of this particular laptop looks like. First thing first, uh, you need to flip the laptop and you will see all these screws over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 and 10. Total 10 screws uh, that have to be removed using a star screwdriver. Start from the hinges screw. These screws will not come off. 1, 2, 3, 4. These 4 screws will not come off. Now take a triangular prior like this and start protruding from any side. It will come off very comfortably. the base will come off. So these are the inners of the Dell G15 5530. This is the battery over here, the Wi-Fi chip, the two RAM base, the two M.2 SSDs, the speaker over here, the processor fan over here, the motherboard, literally everything in front of you. So let's start uh, by removing the battery first. The battery is connected over here. So just need to remove the battery like this. And then you need to remove the screws. Just need to raise the battery like this and just remove the battery like this. So this is the battery of the Dell G15 5530. So the type code is uh, 8FCTC. This is a 56 watt hour battery with 11.4 volt uh, charging input. People who are here only to replace the battery, they can just take this uh, similar battery and uh, again put it back and replace it. So let's keep it aside for this time being. So it comes with uh, two M.2 NVMe SSDs. One is with the M.2.2280, the long form factor, and the other one is the M.2.2230. So you want to remove uh, the SSD, you just need to remove this one particular screw over here, and you can remove the sink that is there. It's another screw over here. And the SSD can be removed. So this heat sink is there, and the thermal pad is also there. So this comes uh, along with a Gen 4 NVMe SSD. So this is basically a M.22230 form factor Gen 4 NVMe SSD. You can take a long factor M.22280 also and you can upgrade up to 2 terabyte each slot. Let's again put it back. So this particular slot is only for 2230 SSD. Over here you can uh, just remove this screw over here and you can take a another screw over here and you can take a M.22230 there is a small plastic film that you need to remove and uh, you can put that particular SSD so that uh, the thermals are taken care of a long form factor M.22280 works absolutely fine with this particular series of laptops coming to the part where the RAM is uh, you just need to open uh, the RAM bay area just need to use your two thumb fingers and the RAM will come off like this. This is a 8 GB DDR5 4800 uh, megahertz RAM that uh, is included along with this particular laptop. So a 16 GB variant will have 8 plus 8 or a 13 GB variant will have 16 plus 16. You can upgrade this particular laptop up to 64 GB comfortably with 32 plus 32 GB over here. So just take a 32 GB DDR5 4800 megahertz or more and you can insert it like this over here and press on the top. This over here is the speaker, the cable that is connected and this particular speaker notch if you remove, you can replace the speaker of this particular laptop. This is the DC jack. 
in another video we'll show you how to completely remove the motherboard remove the fans as well as the heat sink which is there on the base most of the laptops have uh, the heat sink over here itself but uh, this particular model has the heat sink uh, just below the keyboard so we need to check thermals over here so the wi-fi chip is over here just need to remove this one particular screw and uh, the wi-fi chip will come out so let's put the battery back put all the screws let's put the base panel back put it from here and start pressing and you're good to go So this my friends was a video showing you the review as well as the disassembly of the Dell G15 5530. These are the Core i5, Core i7, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7 variants. Any variant it might be the look and feel will remain the same and the process to remove, upgrade the SSD, RAM and the internals will absolutely remain the same. So the good points about this particular laptop are the fantastic screen that it has, the overall speaker quality, the webcam quality and uh, the performance at this price point at around 1 lakh rupees here in India uh, with for a Core i7 is great. For the Core i5 variants, the price is somewhere around uh, 70 to 75,000 rupees depending on the variant that you are taking. The webcam quality is good. The key travel could have been better. The touchpad could have been a little bigger than uh, previous uh, variants. The screen is not 100% sRGB, so that is something that uh, we had expected that the screen would have. The new design of having a chrome plating on the rear uh, gives it a very sporty feel, the orange uh, chromium finish. And uh, design has been changed a little bit from 5520 to 5530, but we were expecting a lot of other changes too. The internals are also very upgrade friendly. Uh, you can have two SSDs, uh, both Gen 4. You can upgrade the RAM up to 64 GB over here. All in all, a very good package at this uh, given price point. The Core i7 variants uh, have a 4 zone uh, RGB. Uh, the Core i5 variants don't have it. The entry level ones don't have it. They have a single uh, uh, zone RGB keyboard over here. So that is something that we would have expected. The build quality of this laptop is fantastic. The polycarbonate that uh, Dell has used is uh, really good in the comparison of the other models that are available of the other brands this is really stands out the heating of this particular laptop is a little high because uh, is the thermal uh, pipes are being just placed be below the keyboard over here contrary to uh, the thermals being on the other side uh, when you open the chassis you will see that the the thermal piping is not visible it is uh, just below the keyboard so that is something uh, that might worry if you're into a lot of uh, gaming continuous four to five six hours it might heat up a lot all in all a good package uh, by dell and uh, we highly recommend and uh, if you're having a budget of around 1 lakh to purchase this particular laptop. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, do let us know if your suggestions and comments and uh, do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Thank you so much.